As investigators go about their work, you get a real sense of the sheer terror of what went on here just a week ago. Now, this is the courtyard where the gunmen rounded up their victims, marched them in here and held them at gunpoint. All around, you can see bullet marks in the ceiling and on the floors. And in some of the rooms, some of the dormitories behind, there are pop marks on the door and then a blast entry wound there where the gunmen forced their way in. We've got shoes discarded on the side, books, clothing, even a Bible, and inside the names and the telephone numbers of loved ones. It would be some 15 hours before specialist security units came here and freed the students that survived. And here amongst the pieces of twisted metal and glass, the signs of the security services trying to seize back control from an attack that was mounted by the Islamist militant group Al-Shabaab an affiliate of Al-Qaeda. The Kenyan authorities have been swift to react. They've launched airstrikes into Somalia. They've also named the man they believe is the mastermind behind the attack. There's a $200,000 bounty on his head. And in the past 24 hours, they've frozen the accounts of businesses and individuals who are transferring money to Somalia. They believe they have links to Al-Shabaab. But they face the very uncomfortable prospect. This is not simply about men with guns coming across the border. This may indeed be a homegrown threat.